inequalities. We're going to solve absolute inequalities today. And in this case, we have an inequality or an absolute value that is a rational function. And so when I do it, if I consider all this stuff inside the absolute value, if this value is positive, then I don't need to force it to be positive because it's already positive, so I can just leave it as is. However, if it is negative, and then in order to take this negative value and make it positive, I have to multiply it by a negative value. And so that is going to be, so now this is positive and it's less than four. Doing some algebra on both of these, I know I have to be careful of multiplying by a negative number, so I'm going to multiply both sides by my de denominator squared so that I ensure that it is a positive value. And it's not gonna affect my inequality. So in doing it, I get 2x minus four times x plus one less than four x plus one squared. Bringing things over the one side, I get negative four x plus one squared plus 2x minus 4, x plus 1, bigger than 0 now. Factoring out the x plus 1 gives me then negative 4x plus 1 times 2x minus 4. It's less than 0. Oh, I missed my plus sign in here. Collect like terms some more, x plus 1 and I get negative 4x plus 2x minus 4 minus 4 more, it's less than 0. So x plus 1 minus 2x minus 8 is bigger than or less than 0. If I extend my page and I consider my number line here, consider this is x is minus 1, this here is x is 4, negative 4, so let's make this negative 4, negative 1. Okay, so now consider our number signs. If I plug a value smaller than negative 4, so let's say negative 5, this is a negative. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10, minus that is positive, so I have a negative value overall. Between the two, this will be a negative factor. This one will be also a negative factor, and so together it's positive. Looking to the right of negative 1, let's try 0. I get positive and negative, so a positive negative makes a negative. So from this side of the equation, I can say that x has to be less than negative 4, and x has to be bigger than negative 1. Okay, that's the one side. And let's now take a look at the other side to consider. Again, I'm going to, let's multiply in my negative signs. We get negative 2x plus 4 over x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply again by my denominator squared over x plus 1 squared. Simplify, cancel, I get negative 2x plus 4 times x plus 1. I'm going to bring this all over at once, so negative 4x plus 1 squared less than 0. Factor out again the x plus 1, and that leaves me with a negative 2x plus 4 minus 4x minus 4 less than 0. So x plus 1, negative 6x is less than 0. So again, we're going to look at our numbers. We have negative 1, and we have a 0. Check in our intervals. And if I plug like negative 2 in here, this is negative, and this is positive, which makes a... Oh. Makes a negative. Moving over to the next factor, I can see that this is going to, if I pick negative a half, I'm going to get a positive value. Negative a half in here, make this positive, and together I have a positive scenario. Picking a large positive value makes this positive. 
makes this negative, and so altogether it is negative. I'm looking for where it is less than zero. And so here it says x is less than negative one, and x is bigger than zero. If I think about this, I got some conflicting information here. Let's make one great big number line. Here's negative one, here's a zero, and here is negative four. And if I consider, we'll make this the yellow, this says here, this way, and here. If I consider these the green, this says here, and here. So in the analysis portion, I can see it's saying, one time it's saying that it's green here and not green, yellow here, not yellow. And so it's got to be true for both of them. They both must be satisfied. And so I'm going to be over here and over here. So both conditions have to be satisfied in this case. So my final answer is then x is less than negative 4 and x is bigger than 0. So that analysis at the end is a little bit tricky to make sure you follow. Let's confirm with Wolfram Alpha. I've plotted it on already. And here's what the graph looks like. Here's my equation. I can see here's a negative 4 and starting to shade here. So I know it's less than negative 4. That 4 is above the curve. Here, 0, it's above the curve, and so on.